For the next 30 minutes plus, we will be deciding on the ultimate uh, one-day international wicket keeper. A short list of 12 will be initially cut to six by today's panel before they decide on which glove man gets their vote to be in the Sportsmax ultimate one-day international 11. There are your 12 wicket keepers that we'll be deciding on. Gilchrist, Boucher, Sangakara, Dhoni, McCollum, Flower, Raheem, Dacock, Kalawith Rana, Khan, Dujon, and Healy. The zone team's selection will also be revealed on this Tuesday as we move closer to the final 11. Of course, we've already selected the openers and the batsmen three to five. And as a reminder of the final 11, uh, that's made up of the panel's picks, which are worth 30% of the overall decision, the zone selections, uh, which also carry 30%, and the online votes, which will count for 40%. So these uh, wicket keepers, 12 of them, George, some a lot more impressive and more compelling than others. But we have uh, an efficient job to uh, accomplish today of uh, getting rid of the first six of 12. You, you know, when you're talking about the, the great batsmen in ODI cricket or the great bowlers in ODI yeah. cricket, a fair, a fair argument can be made that, mm -hmm. well, it's hard to compare across eras because you don't know how bowlers would have feared batting against, uh, bowling against batsmen of a certain era or how certain batsmen would have feared batting against bowlers of a certain period. I think the weak, the wicket keeper position is not quite that because a glove man, good glove man in any era, would more than likely be a good glove man anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. You, there are there are the questions around a batsman and a bowler as you was as you would be uh, as would be rather for a wicket keeper. So I think not that it makes it simpler, but it takes out it takes out one of the big. Uh, unknowns out of the equation and one of the big uncertainties, one of the big yeah. X factors when evaluating their skill and suitability. Yeah. And I think that we should have a more comfortable time of selecting the wicket keeper than we would have done for other positions. Yeah, and as we get ready to introduce our panels uh, for today, something just dawned on me as, as George spoke. Uh, I, I'm wondering if we shouldn't have selected the bowlers before we pick the wicket keeper because as we saw in the test 11, we selected two spinners there. And uh, I guess they are uh, wicket keepers who are a lot more adept at at keeping to spin spin bowling than they are to, to fast bowling. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree with that because yeah. I, I think, remember, we're talking about the best of the very best. This isn't a selection of the best and then you have second tier and third tier and fourth tier keepers. These, are, these we have accepted are the best of all time. So yeah. I'm, cer I'm certain that the best of all time would have been able to keep to whatever, okay. even if I was bowling. <laughs> but on, on performance, some of the most outstanding do show a marginal um, ability or superiority um, keeping up to the wicket than, than, than others. Um, just a thought. We have two first-timers on today's panel, former England batsman, Barbados-born Roland Butcher, and a cricket commentator Vernon Springer out of St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, the ultimate uh, cricket veterans, uh, Sachin Ramsobag and Zahir Clark coming up to join us. So uh, let's go quickly to our first time as Roland Butcher. Really great to have you on the Sports Max Zone discussing the ultimate 11. You are uh, with the with the wicket keepers, so, sir. You've seen the, the 12 that we've got there. Um, the ones that are compelling for you just on a first glance and the others that you would think probably just made that list. Yes, Lance, uh, first of all, great to be here and uh, be part of the show. Um, Yes, you've got quite a compelling list there of, of 12, and um, I think the, the six the six really stand out for me um, because I'm looking at this not just only because of the ability to keep, because, you know, the batting is also very important. So, you know, when you look there straight away at, at the first five, that tells you that those five are very capable, and then you add Quinton de Kopp to that um, to make the sixth one, um, then you have got both power with that and with the gloves. Yeah. Vernon Springer, sir, from the Leeward Islands and Kitts and Nevis, who provided the West Indies with Mr. Ridley Jacobs for several years as uh, the premier wicketkeeper in the Caribbean. Uh, your immediate thoughts, Vernon, as we welcome you on this 12 that we've assembled. Well, first of all, it's really an honor to be part of this segment, um, selecting the wicketkeepers. The only thing is that we don't have a choice to have a wild card today. So I guess I'll have to be able to forget about that one. But as Roland said, <coughs> you you look at the, the outstanding glove work and some of the, the top, let's say the top four, when you talk about the, the catches um, that these guys would have taken, somebody like a Gilchrist, you know, Mark Boucher, 
um, you name it. Um, they had to be real good, and especially in their time. And outside of just catching, their, their, their masterpiece in terms of batting also helped to complement their position. So I think this, I've been following the discussion before, and when I kind of got a call today to look at the keepers, I said that to me, this would be maybe the easiest um, pick for us in terms of coming up with a six, um, four picks themselves straight away. Um, so it'd be interesting to see, um, you know, where we go from there. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sachin Rapsubag. Um, Vernon says four pick themselves straight away. Are you looking at, at it in that way as well? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, when you think of basketball, guys, you think about the Black Mamba, you think about Shaquille O'Neal, or maybe uh, even Steph Curry. But when you think about wicket keeping and one day cricket, um, two or three names immediately come to your head, and the others kind of take a back seat. Um, you're talking about Adam Gilchrist, um, uh, MS Dhoni, and Kumar Sangakkara. Uh, in between there, you have Mark Boucher, who unfortunately, that very fateful uh, bail, had he not been struck in the eye with that bail, I'm sure he would have been playing cricket for two or three years later on. Um, but, you know, uh, these guys are, are phenomenal. I love to see, I, I really enjoyed seeing that Mushfikur Rahim uh, from Bangladesh is there. Unfortunately, we were not able to talk about more of the Bangladeshi players in the prior uh, shows. But, you know, it's, it's nice to see Mushfik there. Uh, he's a very energetic young cricketer, uh, fantastic behind the stumps, really, really a, a crisp player as well with the bat. So it's nice to see him there as part of this list of all-time 12 greats. Um, additionally, uh, when you see uh, the wicket keepers of the 1970s and 80s and then you compare them to the wicket keepers of today, you can see a major disparity there in terms of their batting. Their glove work might be spectacular in terms of their catching and stumpings. However, uh, the, the wicket keepers of that era that went by many decades ago, um, their runs department seems to be in a bit of a drought as compared to this era, uh, the last 20 years, which has been termed the batsman's era. So it's going to be quite, a, quite an easy job for me. Okay. Zaire Clark, you've been uh, labeled statistically uh, a very um, impactful panelist here in this discussion. We know that Sangakar, with his 482 dismissals, has the record of all these that are listed here, 23 hundreds as well. He was squeezed out of the batting when we were discussing three to five. Um, do you have him logically as one of the preferred in this list? Um, for sure. Uh, when you look at someone like Sangakara, who has um, played up the order for um, the Sri Lankan team, someone who has um, kept to both spinner, spinners as well as fast bowlers, I mean, look at his overall glove work. Not only his overall dismissals, but also his thumpings per innings, etc. Uh, you will see that he has been a quality keeper. Then couple that with the batting that um, our good friend George says that Gilchrist did not revolutionize the game. But from what we saw in the Gilchrist era, everyone after the Gilchrist era is expected to deliver with the bat. And Sangakara was one of them who did so in those matches that he kept for the Sri Lankan team. Mm. All right. So... We've heard the four panelists, George, and uh, their overall comments on the, on the 12 that we, we've got here. Um, during this segment, we will reduce the list from 12 to 6, and we go to the break and uh, reduce it further um, to just one, because there is just one wicketkeeper that will be selected. So, uh, gentlemen, we are getting ready to vote. So stand by. Voting is next up here for the wicket keeper as we cut from 12 to 6. So some names resonating in the opening salvo here by the four panelists. Uh, we're uh, going to start voting now. And as we said, in the next couple of minutes, we'll reduce that list that you saw to, of 12 to 6. And uh, we'll ask you, gentlemen, to just tell us who you are cutting from the 12. So you will name the six wicket keepers that you're cutting from the current group of 12. And I'm going to start with uh, Vernon Springer. I think Ian Healy would be first up. Mm -hmm. Moin Khan. Mm -hmm. Andy Flower. Jeffrey Dojan. 
Then I would go for uh, Raheem. Sorry, I know that uh, my friend likes Raheem, but I don't see Raheem making it in this. And the Sri Lankan wicketkeeper, Kalotati. Um, that would be my six. Kalu? Ka Kalu with Arana. Yes. Okay, because Sangakara is there as well, so you don't, you don't want to get any your your, your wires crossed. Yes. So uh, <laughs> Vernon Springer gets rid of his first six. Roland Butcher, your first six that you're taking out here. Well, the unfortunate six for me that I believe at this point would be Andy Flower, Mr. Rahim, Ramesh Kathurana, Wayne Khan, Jeffrey Dujon, and Ian Healy. That's your six, Roland. Okay, so Roland Butcher played three test matches for England, three won the internationals for England as well, back home in the Caribbean where he was born. And uh, this is where he resides. Now let's go to Sachin Ramsobag. Elim eliminate your six for us, Sachin. Yep, uh, I'm gonna go uh, with uh, Ramesh Kaluwitharana from Sri Lanka, uh, Moin Khan, Jeffrey Dujon, Ian Healy, and uh, I'm going to go with Brendan McCullum as well. well that's, 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 that's my six there. That's five. Um, that's five. That's five. Sorry. Yes. I've one more. One more. Yeah. yeah. I've got one more to go. Um, Mark Moucher. Well, Moucher is out for you. Okay. That's yes. Sachin Ramsabag. I hear Clark. Uh, let's get your six eliminated. Well, th this six was really difficult for me, but my six, um, I'm going to be starting with Ian Healy. Hello, with Aran. I'm sorry, but I'll be getting rid of West Indian Dujon. I'll be also getting rid of um, Flower. I'll be getting rid of um, his name, Mushfarik Rahim. And I think that's my six. That's five. five. That's we five. Need one more. That's five. Um, even though I loved when he used to keep so um, Sakli and Mushtaq, I might um, drop more in five. You're keeping Ian Healiza here. No, I said Healy first. Oh, I think Healy was his first oh, name, wasn't oh. it? Yeah, Healy, my bad. Color with Iran, yes. Khan, Dujan, Paula, and Rahim. Yeah. All right, yeah, we've got you. So um, all six, all four panelists have um, deleted the first six on the list. So um, we are going to the break now. When we come back from the break, uh, we will look at uh, the, uh, well, we'll, based on what the panelists have, um, tell you which of the um, six have been cut based on the consensus of opinions put forward by the panelists and then we cut from six to one after the break Yeah, Pharrell and Robin Thicke, happy. Come along if you feel like a room without a roof. Well, that was Pearl alone, yeah. That was the Robin Thicke song. All right, yeah. All right, let's go to the cuts because the gentlemen made their selections in the first round. So, Gilchrist, Boucher, Sangakara, Healy, Dujan, and Mushfiqur Rahim, the first group of six. The second group of six, take out Healy, Dujan, well, take out Healy, Dujan, and Rahim from the first group of six. So only three stand from the original slate. Then this is the second slate of six. So we're looking for three names to be taken off. You can take off McCollum. Well, you take off Flower, Kaluitharana, and Moin Khan. So Brendan McCollum survives the cut. Quinton de Kock is safe. MS Doney would always be safe. And uh, yeah, Adam Gilchrist, safe as well. Mark Boucher, safe as well. And uh, this is the tale of the tape so far. We are attempting to select an all-time ODI team, and today is the one day we are reserving for the Wicked Keepers. We don't believe it's that difficult, and our panelists have navigated through the 12 quite easily, and they've reduced that list of 12 to a list of six. We will now deliberate over who will be the ultimate one. Now, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, MS Dhoni, is dominating the online voting so far. He has attracted 44.61% of all votes cast. Kumar Sangakara is a distant second, 18.34%. Adam Gilchrist has 16.27%. Brendan McCollum, 7.34%. And Quinton de Kock, 4.28%. So if MS Dhoni was a racehorse, he'd need binoculars to see the man in second. That's Kumar Sangakara, 
who is about 25 percentage points behind him in the voting. All right, on the ultimate wicket keeper, let's talk to the panel now. So, gentlemen, we have a field of six. You've whittled down this field of 12 to a field of six. So, I want you to talk to me now, Roland Butcher, about the wicket keeper of the six left standing. Who do you believe is king of the pile and why? Well, George, uh, this is a very difficult decision because when you look at this list of six, they're all very, very fine players, not just for the gloves, but what they're actually bringing to the bat, with the bat as well. I mean, Adam Gilchrist, you know, he revolutionized the, the idea of we could keep a batsman. You know, Mark Boucher did an excellent job, same thing with South Africa. Sangakara, quality with gloves and bat in any type of cricket. MS Dhoni, definitely a match winner. Um, captain, you know, terrific player. Brendan McCollum, again, like you, Chris, may he really set that all around his position on light. And um, in recent time, um, Quinton De Kock with his uh, performances. But for me, out of that six, and it's a very fine six, I would have to choose MS Dhoni, really, because MS Dhoni was such a match winner over a very long period of time. And um, very charismatic, very cool, and a real winner. Yeah, gentlemen, I've been working on, on the description. Thank you very much, Roland. I've been working on the description for the selection of the wicket keeper for the week. I'm, 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 I didn't find one suitable, so I'm just going to go with the obvious. It's like basketball, selecting this wicket keeper, because you, you, you have in baseball, I beg your pardon, in baseball you have your relief pitcher and you have your closer. I'm asking, I'm putting it that way, Sachin, to ask you this. If it is that we are agreeing that the wicket keeping position is a toss up between Adam Gilchrist and MS Dhoni, who do we want? Do we want Gilchrist's fast runs, his whirlwind approach, or do we want a calculated, cold blooded, dead eyed killer, a closer in the situation? I ask you that, Sachin, to ask you which of the two is going to be your ultimate ODI wicket keeper. Well, that's an easy answer to your question, George, because we remember we're looking for a number six batsman, and MS Dhoni has scored the most runs as a number six batsman. That's, that's the first point. Secondly, uh, Adam Gilchrist has scored most of his runs as an opening batsman. And when you compare these two players, we already have two openers. Um, we have Rohit Sharma and Sachin Tendulkar. So when you look at these positions, we're looking for that number six player. MS Dhoni certainly stands out. Apart from that point, um, uh, the, the man Dhoni, uh, he had a wonderful story that uh, being a, a train line master, then went on to play for the, the, the train team and eventually making it onto the Indian team. Um, after a, a, a lot of low scores, he eventually uh, made it up to the high scores. But, you know, I remember one thing in particular, and that's one very short story. Um, he was wicket-keeping to Irfan Patan, who opened the bowling for India, left arm over the wicket, bowling 85 kilometers per hour, standing about 30 yards back. Then, the same Irfan Patan, bowling at 84 miles per hour, just one, one mile per hour less, he stood up to the stumps, took a ball down the leg side, and stumped the batsman out without even thinking about what was going on. The batsman was already on his way back. Um, absolutely brilliant. And there you have it. Superb, MS Dhoni. Um, I think there is nothing else. It is MS Dhoni, and if anybody else would like to introduce somebody else, well, I think I can probably argue that point with uh, my good friend Zahir, who's a statistician. Well, Zahir, I tried to box. I, I tried to box Sachin into going the MS Dhoni route, not knowing that he would have gone that route without any inducement, without any encouragement from yours truly. He has thrown down a challenge to you to ask you if there's someone, based on the numbers, who has a better claim to play at number six, do the business with the gloves, and then give you crucial runs at the bat than MS Dhoni. And I'm, and I'm asking you to rise to that challenge, Zahir. Um, well, unfortunately, this is the, probably the only time I'm not going to rise to that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm not a horse racing, horse racing expert, but I'm going to use the term super effective. In MS Dhoni, we have four different options um, in terms of his um, contributions to this side. He's con contributing as a batsman, as a wicketkeeper, as a closer finisher, 
and as well as he could also be the captain of this ultimate eleven. And that's a very important point. When we look at what MS Dhoni has done over the years, in 96% of the innings, 96, listen to me, 96% of the innings in which his team has chased and he has been at the crease, his team has won. So he's the ultimate finisher. When we think of persons like Bevan, um, in Bevan's case, 83% of the times, um, the team won. And a lot of us consider Bevan as being one of the best finishers in the game. But when you look at Dhoni, he's even better than what Bevan used to do um, when it comes to finishing. When we look at even setting up an innings, that is batting, in the, um, batting first. When we look, we see where 70% um, of the instances where um, Dhoni is finishing not out in that innings, his team is going on to win. So he's the master calculator. He does pre-calculus and calculus, as you said in our previous um, edition when he is setting up his team in ODI matches. Vernon Springer, they threw out Michael Bevan earlier this panel did. I think Zaheer and Sachin would have been a part of that because they said as outstanding as Michael Bevan's credentials as a closer were, they didn't need him because they had someone who was a superior version of Michael Bevan to, 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 to reckon with. And I say that to ask you if you agree that MS Dhoni is so precise about what he does that if he were a shopkeeper, he could sell you a pound of flour without needing to put it on the scale. He'd put it into the bag and give it to you. You'd go home and wait and it would be dead one pound. Are you agreeing with MS Dhoni based on that, Vernon Springer? Well, George, when I joined the panel today, we had a sidebar talk. So I was able to get a chance to hear how Zaya thinks. Well, I already know generally that Zaya seems to be the man who's got the stats. So I said that if it came down where we were going to have a vote between Sanja Caro and Dhoni, then I would have to be able to make sure that I have to be on top of my game when it comes to Zaire. I was analyzing that Kuma Sanja Caro, 400 and add matches. MS Dhoni, 350 matches. Now, look at this. You have Sanja Caro scored over 14,000 runs. But you have in Dhoni, batting at anywhere between six and seven, scoring over 10,000 runs. Now, that's a phenomenal defeat feat for any keeper to come in into that position and to be able to score that, 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 sort, that, that amount of runs. The other discussion we had was a keeper being able to stand up and keep to spinners. And so again, you had to break down the stumpings between Sanja Caro and Dhoni and the quality of spinners. Again, Dhoni leads the way. Then when we go further, we said, okay, well, let's, let's match it up to the highest individual score. We have Mark Boucher, 147, Brendan McCollum, 166, Adam Gilgis, 172, Sanja Carr, 169, Quinton de Kock, 178, and MS Dhoni, 183, not out. When you tap that all off, he's got the best average. Um, I, I think, like I said to you when we came on, when I got the, the, the call today that we were selecting wiki keepers and I was sent the 12 names, I said, oh my God, this got to be the, the easiest pickings that we could come to. So, hey, I think the entire world, sorry that you had to tell us what the, the voting poll was. Maybe you should have kept that one until after we selected the one. Um, but the, 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 clear, the clear winner um, is MS Dhoni, who I will join to with like Zaire. He certainly will captain this team. Uh, one, all right, so it's unanimous on the panel, but let me just do one more thing with, with the little time that we have. Let me go around the, around the Zoom box. Uh, starting with you, Roland, who is the better glove man, Dhoni or Gilchrist? Well, Dhoni, Gilchrist, or Sagakar? Which of those three, in your estimation, is better pure glove work? Well, I think it's, it's, it's fairly difficult to, to say because in Gilchrist's case, he spent a lot of time um, keeping wickets to fast bowlers. Mm -hmm which, as you know, as a wicket keeper, is, is a much easier job than standing up. Now, in MS Dhoni's case, you know, he has to keep against lots of spinners on different type of pitches, some keeping low, some turning, et cetera, et cetera. So when you're talking about glove work, um, it, it is difficult to separate the, the two because, as I said, one against fast, one against slow. The FA Duke John against fast bowling was fantastic. I mean, if you were choosing a wicket keeper against fast bowling, you would probably choose him. Um, but Dhoni, for me, I think all around, uh, Dhoni really would be the better, the better one. All right, Zaheer, glove work, pure glove work. Zangakara, Gilchrist, or Dhoni, who's the best? 
Um, um, similar to what um, he said earlier, um, for me, it's going to be Dhoni. And uh, just one thing I just want to just throw out there. When we look at this, these 12 that we had looked at, and we now have no way to look down to, 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 to six, Dhoni is the one who has the most thumpings per innings. Mm. And also, and it has to do, as we had spoken off here, it has to do with the fact that he has been keeping to a lot of spinners. Um, when we look at spinners like Jadeja, the Ashwins, the Harbage and Sands, and Singh and others, um, these persons require you to have very good glove work. And as an ex keeper myself, I can tell you it's I, very difficult to keep to, to, to spinners. There you go. Sachin, do you agree with the panel that the, the, the best glove man of the top three is MS Dhoni? Yeah, I certainly do agree that MS Dhoni is the best glove man. And Zahir made the, the point of uh, uh, keeping up against the spinners. Imagine doing more than uh, two to 300 squats. In, in the space of an hour or two. Uh, that's the way that MS Dhoni was. He's extremely fit to be able to do that, one. And two, his concentration and mental capacity has to be on top of its game. And as a captain behind the stumps, he makes some really crazy rash decisions. But in the end, you get the wicket of the batsman that's probably scoring the most runs for the opposition. Yeah, same question for you, Springs. Pure glove work, Dhoni the best? The first thing as a cookie coach, George, and Lance, that you have to look for when you in terms of a keeper, is that you look from the knees down, how effective that glove man is. And out of the, the final six, when you talk about soft hands, and when you're talking about being at ease, Tony's got the best glove work, both left or right. And it doesn't matter whether it is to seamers or it's to spinners. Um, you only just have to just look at his movement. You know, he, he just makes everything just look easy. You know, you, you, you're snicking. Donny is not in, in, a, in a big celebrating mood, but he's caught the ball. And that is key. That is what you really want to sort of look for. So while you would have, as Roland was saying, you've got Adam Gilkis who will be flying all over the place, and Jeffrey Dujan and those guys there, Donny, from his knees down, would always come up with the blinders. And if we, we think back um, of, the, of the keepers, Donny has been spectacular. Mm. All right, so Dhoni, the panel's choice, and also the best glove man. But I have to do this. It's for statisticians and historians, but I have to just take a formal vote. You'll have to dip your finger in the inks here. So let's go around the room. So, 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 so we're going to do it formally. So we have to do the drum roll, the music, and then do the vote formally. So that's the introduction. So just for the record, Roland Butcher, your wicket keeper, ultimate ODI 11 is? MS Dhoni. Thank you. Sachin? Yep, it is MS Dhoni, the man from India. Zaheer? Uh, it's so hard to decide. MS Dhoni. <laughs> <laughs> Springs? <laughs> The finisher, the, the best the game has ever seen, MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni. All right. I, I know you, you gentlemen are united on who the ultimate wicket, keep, wicket keeper is. Lance, I think, though, that they would be divided on who number two is because I think I, I just get the impression that Springs would go for Sangakara over Gilchrist. And I'm not quite sure that the other three gentlemen would pick um, Adam as their second choice. But we're not talking about seconds. You're talking about the <laughs> ultimate only <laughs> wicket keeper, which is MS Dhoni. All right, let's look, let's look at the zone pick. So the panel has spoken. They've spoken unanimously. Let's look what the zone team has done with the wicket keeper selection in this ODI Ultimate 11. Yeah, no surprise there. MS Dhoni. And uh, gentlemen, Zahir would know this, but I'm telling Roland Springs and uh, Sachin that there, is a, there was a sportscaster in Jamaica who was reading the copy one evening and he saw the name in the script and he said, Miss Dhoni. Nobody told him that it was M.S. Dhoni. Yeah, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, Roland, I want to thank you very much. Zaire, I want to thank you very much. Bernard Springer is having a laugh. Sachin, thank you very much as well, my friend. All the best to you. That's, that's the show for today. We'll be getting in touch with you to continue this conversation, gentlemen. Really appreciate your contribution today. 
Thank you, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Good, good, good. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Lance, you're a wicked man. Me? Yes. 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 I, I said you nothing. you I could said, have done without that. I Lance. said nothing, George. Miss Doni. I said nothing. Who, uh, who was the guy, Lance? Well, well, first of all, you said it was a sportscaster. Was it a sportscaster? Yes, he was. He was performing as a sportscaster, exactly. but was it, was it a sportscaster? Yes, he was a sportscaster because oh. when you turn on your television and you see someone reading the sportscast, then that's the sportscaster. <laughs> yeah? If you, if, if, if you see a duck walking in the enclosure, yes, that is the duck. It doesn't matter if, if there's something, imper if, if, if it's a geese or a goose. <laughs> in, 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 there, there you go, Lance. I know you know what I'm talking about. I won't pressure you, Lance. Mm. I won't pressure I'm you. I'm not pressured. Yeah. Our producer wants us to go. Can I give him another gem? See.